today I'm working on my 1977 Corvette front wheel hubs, um, looking at the rotor alignment, um, setting a run out for that. Uh, there's a new project I've started now, um, but just kind of going through the whole car and working on getting it back on the road and having some fun with it. Um, what we're going through with these rotor alignments, you want to come over here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to be spinning the rotor around and checking for the total wobble that's in the rotor and we're going to try to correct that. Uh, the spec is five thousandths of an inch or less. There's two different ways to do that. One, this is a, this is a part that I got from Napa. This is the rotor shim. Um, it's a hub correction plate, I guess is what they call it. Here's the, the part number. Uh, it's actually a Ray Bestos. Uh, it's the only manufacturer i found that makes these. They make a 3,000s shim and a 6,000s correction shim. But I've only been able to find one of these, so we're going to go with this other option here, which is just a, a shim pack, a bunch of shims that I ordered from Fastenal. Part number's right here. But two different methods, uh, and we'll get both of these lined up and ready to go back on the car. So as you can see, I got my dial indicator set up here. I realize that the rotor itself can move, but as you can see, the dial's not moving because this is set up solid on the spindle here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at that dial, have it set at zero. This is actually about the low point. And just by spinning this all the way around, you can see the total adjustment. And right there is about my high point. I'm about six thousands. So a 6,000 shim would be great if I could find one, but I can't. So what I'm gonna do is use my 3,000 shim and that's gonna do the job for me. Here's the shim. You can see this little mark on it here. So I've actually measured it with this um, micrometer here. Unfortunately, this is in millimeters, but I've been able to figure it out. You just do a simple calculation, but basically I got about 0.545 0.544 millimeters here on this side, opposite side, 0.568. So it's a very minimal amount of uh, just a difference in the thickness here. So you won't be able to see it. That's why I have a micrometer here. Um, but this being the low point, this will be the correction that I need it to be. Low point. Ah, fun. Yeah, so it turns out this part right here is not the right one. Um, if you look at it here, obviously it does not fit. The bolt pattern is right, but it's a uh, this pa the pattern on here is too narrow, so I'm going to do the right thing and cut it out so that these bolt holes are straight, and it'll fit in there and it'll get held in there by the by the bolt holes. But it needs just a little bit of massaging so it'll fit. All right, so you can see my modifications, they're on there. They're decent-ish enough. Um, I'm gonna put the rotor on and see where we're at now.
We're right under five thousandths there. It's technically within spec. I'm gonna mark that and see what the shim looks like. Maybe I'll just spin it up one notch and maybe get it a little bit closer. Okay, so I actually rotated my shim by one notch. And now I'm getting up to about plus two there. And yeah, there's a little bit of dirt on the rotor, so it's not perfect. It's shaking a little bit. But there's minus one. About two, two and a half. Down to zero. That looks good to me. Looking at two and a half thousands, maybe up to three. Um, this wall is doesn't spec for five thousand. So this one is going to be good enough for me. Um, and I'm going to move on to the next one. That one should be a bit of a challenge, honestly. I already measured it before and I know that it's at about 12 thousandths total run out. So I'm going to be playing with the shims just a little bit. And in case you're wondering, these are the brake riders that I went with. I got them because they are coated. Um, if you look at it, like they're all painted up real nice already. And for the extra five bucks, it's worth paint, getting it painted versus uh, having to do it myself. So that's what I went with. So it's more like 15,000 sets off. This one, would seriously be a problem if left unadjusted. What would happen, because of these being a fixed rotor versus a floating rotor, or the floating caliper, what would happen is that caliper, as this rotor spins, if you're braking, those pistons are actually gonna be absorbing the, the uh, differences in the rotor, and they're gonna be moving in and out very rapidly, and that's gonna heat up your brake fluid and cause your brakes to you know, your fluid to boil and you're not going to stop anymore. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have my low point marked, which is right about here and mark it on here. And then I'm going to try to bring this up, you know, create a 15 thousandths difference. So I need to go adjust it 7 thousandths each way, basically. So I'm going to be start measuring my shims and see what I can do. What I calculated was since I have a 15 thousandths, 15 thousandths error on the rotor, what I need is so 0 0.24 times five. And so I get 0 0.024 times five. So I would get 0 0.12 millimeters shim difference. So now I have all my shims laid out and I get to decide which ones are going to be my, give me that difference of 0 0.12 millimeters. Okay, so what I did here is I have, this shim is a 0.18 millimeters. These over here are 0.33, well, roughly. And then this, these two are about 0.25. So it should be pretty even. This was my low point. This is the high point. So that should correct it there. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna throw the rotor on. Mind you, I have my lug hole and this lug noted. So I put the rotor on in the same spot every time too. Cause sometimes that can make a difference, but I'll try this, tighten, tighten it down and see what we get. So as you can see here, I uh, messed up and I did it backwards. So here's my low point. I put the smaller shim here and the bigger shims on the high side, which I was trying to correct 15 thousandths. And I corrected it about 19. Uh, okay, so we're still at 10 thousandths. It is winter. This thing should be dead, it is. but it's alive. I think I scared it. 
Crawl, baby, crawl. Are you torturing my bugs? He's an eye. Point. Go all the way up to not quite four. Now I'll do it. Want to pull the stack on this one too. And even though we couldn't get the proper adjustment tool or adjustment shim, just uh, some regular old shim pack and measuring them up, and we got it within spec. And this one was ready to go on the chart too. We put the caliper on and should have good results. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing more about this, or I'm actually uh, going through and powder coating these. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all sandblasted, powder coated. It looks good-ish, at least. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of that, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, like, subscribe, and look out for the next uh, video coming out.